Hey guys, today it's CJ here. We got a car driving through City of Test Hand for you. I'm about to show you what I play. I'm about to show you the combos they can do. Even though most people already know how it goes, it's a pretty linear deck. And I'm going to show you my deck list at the very end if you like it. And let's get right into it. Let's draw out our starting hand. This is all you really want to see. You want to see two Crusadias and a Dragon Extender. That's pretty much it. Now you would summon out the Arborea. You would link your Arborea. Mm -mm -mm. There you are. You turn into your Magius. And then you express summon out your second Crusadia. And then Magius effect would trigger. If you didn't have the Dragon Extender in your hand, then you would just get the Draco. You get the Draco right there. Like these two guys off. Turn that into Spatha. Then you'd special them out the Draco. And then normally you'd have two different Crusaders, but since we drew two of the same ones, you would add back whichever one. Which is not the Magu, since you want to leave that in the graveyard to banish later on. If you have, if you have the Black Dragon. But usually you'd want to grab the one with everyone. Whichever one you use to start the combo. Whichever one was a normal summon. So now you would link off your Draco. Turn that into your LP. You spat the spec to move it over. Use LP spec since two more point. Do that. You grab your red eyes dra red eyes darkness metal. Red eyes darkness metal spec. Bring back your Draco. Link all four of these in. And if you haven't noticed, we're going to pretend like we're going uninterrupted going first. Then you do your so you just play, you draw your four, one, two, three, and four. Now you're gonna put your three back. Since you already used Arborea special summon, you'd put that back. Since you have the Dragon Shine, I would put the Destrudo back. And then one more. Because you're gonna have obviously a lot of negates, I would just put the Ash Blossom back. You're really not gonna need that. Put those three back. We have the Waterfront, so activate the Waterfront. Right now it has no counters. And now there's two things you can do with this hand. Two things. You can do Dragon Shine, do that. Senior Destrudo, that would give you one counter. I don't know the ruling with that, since that sends it, and then this goes, since those two different separate occurrences. Since Dragon Shine going is one occurrence, and then Destrudo going, that should be two, so you should have two counters on that now. Now you use Instant Fusion. Bring out your Dark Fire Dragon. Now with Instant Fusion going, that makes three counters. Nick use that to add. Now you can link off your Dark Fire Dragon. Turn that into your Pitsy. Pitsy's effect activates. You get your Red Eyes Darkness model from your Grave Ring. I'll special summon this off the Red Eyes Darkness model. Or honestly, you could. I mean, yeah, that's the best bet. Because either way, if you run out of Destruo, you'd have to have a level 1 to make a level 8. Which I don't run any. So then that would happen. Now you can link these two guys right back off. Then you grab out your Argapain. Argapain's effect. Best on out your Crystal Wing. And now you can use... You can use Gamma's. You can special them out Gamma's with Saryuja. And now you can bring out your Black Dragon Collar Serpent by banishing your Magius. And now you can link these four guys off into your second Saryuja. And by now you have five counters in this thing. And then chain block the star you just so you don't get ashed on that. Even though by now they would have been already used ash if they had it. Use the black dragon in the graveyard since they got to reveal the graveyard. You can add your white dragon. You add your white dragon off of that. And so far this is your hand. You have the let me just move everything up for y'all. So far, this is your hand. Now you draw four. One, two, three, and four. Let's see. Our boy used that before. Just secure we don't need that. And we can keep. 
put the lineal in this bag just to make sure you have enough if you want once you bring out your rescue cat. And after that, you can spot some of your rescue cat, use rescue cat's effect. Bring out your Leonis. And I run my elephant on the main deck. Synchro with those two. Into Naturia Beast. And now, depending on what the other last card is in your hand, since I run three Leonis in my deck, I could have used that to keep it. And then I could have made a Borderload Savage. So if you want to see how that would work, that would be like this. Uh, let's just pretend I kept that. And let's just pretend I kept the Leonis instead. So this would have been in my hand. So you would spec some of this to a zone that it points to. Then you target just distribute on a graveyard, target this, make it into a level four. Then you could turn, you could do that like that to so make the level seven, or since that's a level four, you just find it. You can either you can special summon this after you link it off. It just depends on how on how you want to do it before your field gets clogged. But you want to do that before you bring up the trade if that makes sense. So let's just put this back, back, back up. You would do this, then you would do your Destrito play. Since that's a level four, and then you can banish a dark to bring this out, and then that'll make that into a board load savage. But since but since our field's kind of clogged right now, now if we did it, that's if you want to bring out the board load savage, which I believe is the better card to bring out. But since our field is clogged and I did it the combo the wrong way, this is how it would play out. And you bring out the FA Dawn Dragster, which is still a really good turn one board. Either way, you got Gamma with at least two negates because that's five counters, and then. If they use any cards to send, you want to get them another counter after you banish one. You have Crystal Negating Monster, you have FA Don't Drag Negating Card Effect, and then if you have Beast, so it's auto win against Sky Striker, and spell cards are not being used. So that's a turn one combo. And remember, if you if you didn't bring out the Rescue Cat, because remember, you summoned the Rescue Cat off the start, you just, so if you would have kept that in your hand, but later on, you could have basically brought out Lord Savage. Just by bringing out the level four or the level three, and then having the shield target that, and especially on like the other one. Either this by just specifying off its effect, or specifying that create stadium monster tool, monster link, monster points to. And that'll be how you bring out the Borderload Savage. Okay, now here we are with the deck list. And hopefully you understand what I mean by the about the Borderload Savage combo. But just to get right into it, we run the three Arborea, run the three the two Leonis, one the three Dracos, one the three Maximus, the two Reclusia. That's it for our Crusadian monsters. We run the one Archlord Crustia. This is because you spec you can spec something off of Saryuja, or you can run the Morphage Goliath. I just run this because it's bigger and it could recur itself. The one Red Eyes Darkness Metal, you knew that for a combo. The one World Crown. It serves as, as an extender, and also you can trigger Magius, you spec something to a link point to add it to get another search. So it's another way you get to your Draco, something else gets hit or stopped. And also, it has effect if your monster, if your opponent uses a monster for the X deck and X bait special effect, you can contribute it to negate it. The gamma seal for the negate. Just kaiju just in case you go, just in case you lose a die roll. I, I usually, depending on that, that's when I like to keep them or get rid of them. But I like to run the three just in the main deck. Just in case you lose a die roll and then so your opponent can't bring up big enough war. But you'll see in the side deck and why I run that. We run the one white dragon, the three black dragons. The one rescue cat. I know some people run three, but three even I just think it's too bricky. Even with Sarija being able to put stuff back, but you'll run two of these things: a black dragon, a kaiju, and then one crusader. You really can't do too much. I mean, it's still the full combo thing. You won't be able to bring out the Naturia beast, and that might be a, a make or break right there. The one elephant for the Naturia beast. The one Destrudo. Run two ash blossoms. And that's it for all monsters. I don't know the exact number. I think it's about 31. Or probably a little less than that. We're about to see to 40 card deck. We'll just count up how many spells we got. We have three called by the graves. The one reinforcement. The one terraforming. And the one Kyoto Waterfront. We have the one Monster Born. The one Relaxed Succession. We have two instant fusions. 
and then we have the Warlock Cigar Dragon, and then the Dragon Tron. You could, you could take, you could side this out. This could be another Strudel. That could be another Extender if you think of any. But let's see. This is six. That's twelve. That's about twenty-eight monsters. Twenty-eight monsters, twelve spells. Now that's it for the for the main deck. Let's show you the side or the X deck first. You know, X deck is pretty simple. The one Magius, the one Spatha, the one LP, the one Ari Pain, the one Pitsy, the two Skull Dreads. Because you can go into two, you can also go into three, but the card's just too expensive right now. So if anyone wants to give me a Skull Dread or something one for a decent price, like $25, I'll go ahead and take it. The one Equimax with OTK if, if it presents itself. The one Atreya Beast, the one Warlord Savage, the one Crystal Wing, the one F.A. Dawn Dragster, the one Star Leech Photon Dragon, which a lot of people don't like to really run this card. But if you you're to bring out really easily, especially with the Destrudo instead, of, it's basically like this: you either bring out Destrudo, or not Destrudo. You either bring out Warlord Savage if you want the negate, or you can bring out Star Leech Photon, which makes it so your monsters higher than 2,000 can't be targeted. Those are separate one you think is better for the matchup. And then here's our two instant fusion targets: we have the one Sea Monster of Thessius, and then we have the one Dark Fire Dragon. This is an extender, and this is a tuner that's level five. So any of your level threes, except for Arboria, since it's already a tuner, you can make Warlord Savage right with that. makes it a little bit easier or you can also make Borlo Savage with the elephant and the world Lexi world crown now let's get into the side deck we have the one driver the three gammas the one Dagaron, with two in the road of kaiju slumbers with two red reboots three evenly matched and three contact C's and that's it from my main side and extra deck hope you enjoyed if you want to see my Solomon Great deck profile, let me know down below and I'll be sure to post that. Thanks, have a good one.